Oh, I forgot the lid. I forgot the lid, guys. So, I've just finished adding gradually my uh, olive oil and water mixture. Now let it knead for at least four minutes on medium. At least four minutes. So guys, if you're making dough with your magic mix, know that there is a way. Otherwise, you're gonna end up being very frustrated because the magic mix doesn't, doesn't handle throwing everything in there. And so I'm gonna put the video at the end of this video if you're having troubles with making dough. So, there it is. I don't know, guys. You know what? See this, this on the edges? That would never happen with the other piece. So I feel like this piece is just, I don't know, it's just deconstructing your dough molecules in a way. But um, but if you're fine with this, I mean, you're fine, but I don't know, I, would, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't advise you to do this. I don't know, so, but I'm gonna wet my uh, hands and then try to get all, th all of the dough, put it in um, a container, plastic bag, uh, close it in a plastic bag and then put it somewhere where you have some warmth during these winter months and then let it sit there for maybe an hour to an hour and a half before you, uh, before we're going to come back to it and then, uh, you know, continue with it. But what I can tell you about this piece is that the dough, I don't see that much dough going up there, which you'll see in the video at the end of this video. You know, the one where I talked with you guys how to avoid having troubles with ma while making dough with this machine. So, I don't know. Looks good. But don't worry about this because, look, the dough will come together very easily. That's the kind of dough we're making. See how beautiful it is? So don't worry too much about it. See? So you'll have, you don't have any troubles getting this all together. Uh, I've prepared this with a little bit of flour. Again, take all of this and um, add it in here. Nice plastic around it and then let it sit for an hour, an hour and a half. All right, there it is. It looks a little bit oily. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be too oily. Just a little bit, really a little bit. Just wet your hands a little bit with a very thin layer of olive oil and then make... Um, a bowl out of your dough like this, add it in there, and now I'm gonna put some plastic around it, like I said, and let it sit. So, just ask Siri to remind me when it's time, about an hour and a half. Uh, but for now, uh, coming back to this, I don't know, guys. I mean, it wasn't bad, as you can saw. I could, I, I managed easily to take out all the, the dough that was in there. Um, but I don't know, I just not, normally I never see the stick around the edges. So I don't know if it has to do anything with this or it's just the kind of dough that I made today. Uh, maybe I added a little bit too too much uh, olive oil, not really sure, although the dough is just perfect. So I don't know whom to blame, but it doesn't matter because it worked out. So I guess, I guess the best thing that I can say about this thing is you have the choice. I mean, if you want to try this, try it. If you want to try the uh, t uh, traditional one, do that. Um, I guess they're both fine. Yeah. So...